my husband went to university for biology yeah. at the time, watched Tarzan, and discovered that the real love is in animation. <laughs> Switched his career, went to the art school where we met. Oh so I God. often told Chris that because he decided to pursue his wish yes, to be that. an animator at Disney. It's yeah. changed lives. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love that. Imagine a place where wishes come true. Where your heart's desire can become a reality. What if I told you that place is within reach? All you have to do is give your wish. Me. Disney means so much to, to both of us. We both grew up on Disney movies. Um, uh, just the, the storytelling, the characters, all of that. And uh, it felt like our chance to sort of have a, say a thank you letter or a, a love letter to Walt Disney and all those artists that worked on those. We really wanted to celebrate the legacy, um, play an homage to the fairy tales mm. and, and the incredible um, films, it's particularly the early films that Walt was a part of himself, but we wanted to do it in a whole new way and make sure it was an original fairy tale. And yeah. we started thinking about something that has been important in all of our films, um, and in some very particularly the concept of wishing. And we said, well, it seems so simple, but when you think about it, that wish that drives someone's heart, that's that's the thing that changes the world. I mean, every great invention or creation or, or um, discovery has come from someone, that deep wish in someone's heart. I've been in story for a while and you know we focus on the sequence that, that we're working on right as a director you kind of step up and, and look at the whole film and look at what it means this story why are we telling this story and mm -hmm. I really enjoy that process. Chris and I have a shorthand because yeah. we've worked together so closely but Fawn um, having seen her grow and then knowing the two of them together were really great together they really they would push each other but um, they would find new and better ways together and and they were never in each other's way they were always additive yeah. um, and so and I think what was great is you know Chris it can mentor uh, as he's you know he's he's been a part of Disney for a long time a lot of stories he's been through a lot so he can help with those tough days and then with Fawn she is that new generation and so her voice is really important we did everything together on this process I met Chris on Frozen that was yeah. my first uh, project at Disney and I've loved working with him ever since well you're young you don't know anything really whereas it is my responsibility to only grant the wishes I am sure are good for Rosas so most of these wishes will never be granted? Yet I still protect them like all the others. And I love how Arya and I talk about this character, that she's someone who advocates for others. And in this story, it's about people fulfilling their dreams. She, she speaks up for everyone to be able to reach their true potential and not be afraid of that, you know, failures that Magnifico has been talking about. That life is richer and more fulfilling when you take the, the step toward what you wanted in life. They're incredible. Um, they really inform the character too, and I think that generous spirit that Ariana has, and, but she also has strength, and she has obviously power, not just in her singing voice, but in her determination. And you watch Asha start in that sort of more innocent, but always generous, and then you see her grow to be stronger and stronger, and that was all inspired by Ariana. I do love Asha in the way that she's yeah. the kind of heroine who you know, found courage within herself to, you know, say out, out loud what she wanted, right? And those that's a hard thing to do, yeah. to really, like, speak up. And, and what she wanted is not just for herself. Part of how we started dreaming up Asha was thinking about that time in your life when you are a teenager and life seems pretty straightforward and simple, and then you start to really look at the world mm. for what it really is and not for, for the idyllic thing you, you hope it is. And you struggle. You struggle with how am I going to participate. You, you think about wanting a better world for other people. It's a very generous kind of time, I think, in people's lives that we don't celebrate enough. Yeah. And we don't look to how, um, you know, uh, when you're young, you can make a difference and you kind of see things in a truth. Uh, it came about with a desire, knowing it's the 100th anniversary, a desire to you know, pay respect to the legacy and go back. That, but also, again, using the technology we have today. Yeah. So 
both, best of both worlds. So we looked at Snow White and Pinocchio uh, for those beautiful watercolor backgrounds. Mm. And so we were able to sort of evoke that, but then also use the camera, the CG camera, and put our characters in that world. Yeah. And so we look at it as, um, as sort of like the audience being able to walk into a storybook. So Well, one of the things is sort of the theme, uh, and it was up in our story room for almost day one, and that was that there's no greater power in the universe than someone with a true wish in their heart. That wish that drives your heart, it's important. It, it's scary, but go for it. But I think knowing there are helpers along the way, um, I think we, we constantly think we're alone, mm -hmm. and I think Star represents that. But then, in Asha's case too, it's a really beautiful thing to become one of those helpers and that you can be that too. Well, I think for the studio, it was such a celebratory time and because particularly work on Wish was so collaborative, it really is our love letter to, to Disney. Yeah. And I know it's kind of funny because um, I think we don't think of Disney as ours. We think of our, us getting to be a part of it. Yeah, exactly. So for us, it was this very giddy time of getting to celebrate the things we love. It's, uh, it's very humbling to be here at this point. Um, you know, we, we, we stand on the shoulders of giants that Walt being uh, the main one, but um, you know, I I worked with um, Walt's nine old man. Yeah. They were my mentors, so I I feel it's um, it's an honor to sort of pay them back and and show the love that I had for their work with this film.